Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing and review for the Tozo HT2 headphones. So it says adaptive hybrid active noise cancellation. I'm not really sure what adaptive hybrid means. We usually have active noise cancellation or we don't have it. We're gonna test it out. And the price of this headphone at the time of this recording is $39 with 33% discount. Let's see if it's worth the price. All right, so we have a manual on how to set it up, how does it function, and this is the headphones in the package. So we have a USB Type-C cable for charging, and we also have an aux cable, so we can attach it directly to the headphone. So there is no cover case in the package, so you just have to hold it in your hand whenever you go. And I wish there was like a case to cover it, but it doesn't have it. So it's like $50, so I guess that's expected. Hopefully the audio on the drivers and the music sounds good on these headphones. It is my first time reviewing the Tozo brand. It looks nice. It looks like a Bose headphones. I mean, if there wasn't a logo here, uh, people might mistake it with like a Bose brand. The cushions are soft and we have like a leather texture here. The range for the ear cuffs and also the top cushion is soft so we can adjust it for different head shape on both sides on the right side we have a usb type c port and we have a audio jack i'm not sure if this surface right here is touch control but we're gonna test it out and this headphone also have an app that i'm gonna check later but first i'm gonna test it without any app or adjustment to make sure this is the high quality product and we're gonna get a good audio without anything extra so this is the look of these headphones from the right side and it's pretty comfortable there's no issue with the cushions it's pretty good so there's a button in the front that is the noise cancelling button so that's how you control the noise cancellation and now the ANC is on and it is pretty good it got quiet suddenly there is no noise that's so good I like it I love an ANC and we also have an option for pass through and you go to the gym and you want to talk to people you can put it on the path through so it activates the microphone on the headphones so you can hear what people are telling and talking to you and stuff like that without the need to take in the whole headphone off so that's a really good function that this headphone has so right now i have some background noise from the ac working and with the anc on it takes a lot of that noise off but i still can hear some noise from the air conditioning but it's not major it just muted most of the noise in my opinion it has a good anc i didn't expect it to have this level of ANC, but it's very good. Couldn't figure out what adaptive noise cancellation means because I mean, I think it's just try to figure out the noise levels in the environment and adjust based on the environment that you're in. So I think that's what it does. But so far the noise cancellation is good. Let's move on and let's just try some music. So first off, I'm gonna try some uh, pop music and we're gonna change genre further down in the video. Okay, so the pop sound is pretty good. I like it. The vocals are really crisp and high quality. And also the bass is uh, fine. It's nice. Uh, it's a good bass, so you can enjoy. Uh, let's move on to maybe dance music to see how is that going to sound. Dance music is actually pretty good on these headphones as well. I mean, it can produce really crisp bass sound and it puts you in the mood. I like that, that's pretty good. Uh, now let's try the best test for these headphones, which is the metal and rock music, because not every headphone can make a good sound out of the metal. So let's see. For some reason, this headphone is great for metal and rock music. I cannot say that about every headphone that I've tested before, but this one, it's like it's tuned for rock and metal music uh, perfectly and after that comes the pop and dance music but any other headphone that I tested before is like pop music first, dance music and then uh, metal or rock music but this one in particular is very good for metal and rock music and I'm really happy about that because that's mostly what I listen to that's good, I didn't expect that but that's a nice twist for me so if i press the power button three times it's gonna 
call the voice assistant on your phone. So yeah, the, the surface right here is not touch. I mean, at this price point, it makes sense. One, two, three. Hey, how's the weather? Okay, so it was fast, seamless, and it picked up my voice and audio without any issues and gave me the feedback through the headphones. That's a pretty good function, but sometimes it's really hard to find the buttons on these things because it's just, you have to scroll and find it, but I have power and I have a plus and minus in the back and the buttons works fine. We don't have any issues there. You can also answer your phone calls, reject the calls and all of the usuals. Now let me just see how the app performs in terms of the audio quality. So, all right, we are connected. So we just get a feedback of the situation. Right now, the noise cancellation is on. We can turn on the transparency mode and the transparency actually works pretty good. I have a really clear uh, sound from the microphone and that sounds good. And we also have another option, reduce wind sound. Okay, so that's different. That, that's something you get uh, through the app and you don't have it on the headphones. And you can actually change it. If you have leisure mode, this is the maximum noise cancellation. Okay, so let me just go to the normal noise cancellation and we have some level of noise. Oh, okay, so that's actually interesting because we can increase the level of noise cancellation and this one is actually, I cannot hear my voice at all. Okay, that's interesting. And we also have the normal mode, which is the noise cancellation is off. And we have an adaptive mode, but I still couldn't understand what adaptive does though. It plays some music and tests everything. And I guess it based on that decides which noise cancellation is perfect for uh, the environment you're in. The noise cancellation is pretty good. I think they have, they have like uh, three mics on these headphones, so they can minimize the noise to the minimum and we can go to the equalizer so if you know about what you're doing you can change the equalizer we can add more bass so if you're getting less bass i was okay with the bass we can change it and we can go to classic mode and it updates the headphones for the rest of the music station you're gonna have that's good okay, i don't really need to uh, change anything on the equalizer because the voice and the sound quality I got was pretty good. And that's pretty much what you can do with the app. Just change the noise cancellation level and change the equalizer. That's what you need to do. But in my testing, you don't really need to do anything except the noise cancellation. The maximum noise cancellation level is achievable through the app. Now it's time to test the microphone quality to see how's the sound when you have a phone call or you want to record something, how's that going to uh, look like. So this is the sound for the Tozo HT2 headphones. So this is the sound for the Tozo HT2 headphones to see how's the audio quality for this headphones is it good is it bad because it claims they have a noise cancellation so let's see if it's good or bad the audio quality is great and there was no issue with like figuring out what i was saying sound is close sound is crisp and clear without any like noise or anything that's pretty good i like the uh, microphones and you can use it for basically answering phone calls and do whatever you like so I'm really happy about these headphones. They are comfortable. They have like a good, decent quality. The active noise cancellation works really great on these headphones and you're gonna enjoy it while you're using it. The sound quality for the pop and dance music was uh, good and enjoyable. But surprisingly, these headphones were great on the metal and rock music. Uh, which was really interesting to me and also you have the function to control everything you can call the voice assistant on your phone without reaching to your phone and get the feedback we have a headphone jack which is a another plus in my opinion uh, because 
sometimes you want to use it with your laptop for the devices without the Bluetooth I'm one of those people and I like that option and it's very comfortable the cushions are soft and great and I think the and also the mic quality was great we have a really good noise cancellation on the mic as well and I can say this is a great product for purchase at this $50 price tag so let me know if you have any other question about these headphones that I didn't cover in this video and I answer them in the comment section so before you go please like this video for the YouTube algorithm and I don't have any sponsors so if you subscribe I really appreciate it because I make these honest reviews only for you thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video